Aloha, uh, my name is Noah Kekleva Lincoln. I'm a professor with UH Manoa in a position called um, Indigenous Crops and Cropping Systems. So we look both at past methods of farming as well as modern day farming with our, our kupuna crops, our ancestral crops. Our priorities have been trying to standardize a foliar nutrient analysis. So our research there has produced some general numbers that you want to aim for in terms of nitrogen concentration, potassium, phosphorus, all your, your macro and micronutrients. We've published, uh, it's an open access publication where you can see kind of an optimal and a suboptimal range of those nutrients and also a protocol to do that. So for sampling breadfruit leaves, we found that taking the third leaf from the tip of a growing branch in the mid canopy area, and then just the petiole, so just the attachment between the leaf and the stem, and you'll wanna get four or five of those from around the whole tree and cut those off and you can send them in for a nutrient analysis at almost any agricultural diagnostic center. Partnership with the Hawaii Ulu Producers Cooperative, we have recently put out some suggested fertilizer recommendations and provided both organic and conventional options. The nutrient profile you're aiming for is pretty similar to bananas, and so it's about a 10 5 30 NPK ratio and pretty high calcium magnesium, so about a 5 and 5 for calcium magnesium. Seaweeds are a phenomenal fertilizer for breadfruit. Seaweeds have that really high potassium and they have a really great suite of uh, micronutrient availability. One thing you really want to do is steer away from too much nitrogen. Breadfruit's a very soft-wooded tree. It's a very rapidly growing tree. If you give it nitrogen, it all goes into branch and leaf development, which basically just means you're going to have to prune your tree more. But in addition to making it grow faster, we found that too much nitrogen actually does reduce the fruiting. You'll actually get less yield if you got too much nitrogen. So a major problem with breadfruit production is fruit drop. It can be caused by a lot of things, so drought and water logging do seem to trigger it, but we do find that persistent fruit drop, fruit drop year after year after year, tends to be nutrient related. And in particular, calcium and potassium deficiencies seem to greatly increase the rate of fruit drop. We also have a student who's been doing a breadfruit deficiency trial, and that's basically in big 100-gallon pots of sterile media. She's making custom fertilizers and basically gives this set of trees everything except calcium, and this set of trees everything except nitrogen. The idea behind that is really to produce a visual guide um, for farmers that say, hey, here is what a calcium deficiency looks like in your plant. So without doing any foliar tests or anything like that, you can look at your plant and get a sense of what it might be lacking. Breadfruit does not respond well to thinning. Um, if you kind of take out you know, half your branches or a quarter of your branches to let in more light. Um, we find that breadfruit starts to make a lot of vertical sprouts off the branches. And these kind of start to ruin the structure of the tree. It gets overly dense, uh, makes a lot of kind of spindly branches, and um, it just doesn't work well. So we do advise against thinning too much. Topping, breadfruit responds to very well. We actually keep revising our height of suggested topping down. <laughs> um, so topping them really low, even down to like one, two, or three feet works fine. So one of the most common questions we get is what varieties are gonna do well in what climate? 
Um, so we don't have an answer to that yet, but we have established a statewide variety trial. So we have 10 sites across the state in very different climates and different soils, where we're then growing 30 tree plots of different varieties to look at how the different varieties perform in different environments. They just started fruiting this year, so we'll start to get really good data um, as things move forward.